What's up everybody, Tony with High Tech Check, and if you're using more than one controller to watch TV or stream media, just stop. This is the Sofa Baton X1 Smart Remote. This is the only remote you'll ever need. It connects to your devices by Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and uses infrared. And it uses an application to set up the remote with iOS or Android. It can control pretty much any device that uses Bluetooth or infrared, such as your Xbox, TV, receiver, DVD player, like I said before, anything that's got an infrared, you're going to be able to control it with this, even if it was your coffee maker. I will also be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review so you guys. So you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video so I can show you what this thing can do. But first, let's go and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here we have the remote itself. Looks pretty nice. And it does look like it comes fully charged, which is awesome. Here we have our manual, a basic settings card. Here we have two USB type A to USB type C cables. Here we have our power brick. And if you're curious, it's five volts at two amps. Uses USB type A. We have two infrared transmitters. And here is the brains of the operation, the hub. So let's go ahead and take a look at the remote itself really quick. As you can see, it's pretty minimal. It doesn't have a lot of uh, extra buttons on here, but these buttons on here are actually reprogrammable. So if you don't like what they actually do, you can always reprogram them yourself. Here we have a little, uh, basically an up, down, a left, a right button with the OK button in the middle. We have a little rubber scroll wheel at the top here so you can select all your things. We have an off button, a back button. It's got a nice big LCD display up at the top here. As you can see, sofa baton and all its activities, things you can select. It does have a really nice feel to it. It's got like a matte uh, finish, nice and smooth. On the bottom here, you can see it uses a USB Type-C for charging, and there is no way to change out the battery. It does have an internal battery, which makes everything really nice and easy. You just plug it in and recharge it. It does have a three-hour charging time, and it should last you up to two months with normal usage. Now, you are going to download an application to program this remote, and it works with Android and iOS. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this up. All you need to do, again, is download the Sofa Baton app, which I already have here. We'll go ahead and open that. As you can see, there's a U1 and an X1. We're going to be using the X1. Make sure you plug in the power to the hub. We'll go ahead and select X1. Set up new hub. We're going to connect the power, which we already did. We'll go next. Now there's a little button on the underside here. We're going to hold in for three seconds. Then we're going to make sure that the little blue LED here is blinking. We go ahead and hit the little bubble that says this blue indicator of the hub is blinking and hit next. We'll go ahead and wait a few seconds. Make sure the Bluetooth on your phone is activated. As you can see, it popped up right there. We'll go ahead and select it. Then we're going to go ahead and select the Wi-Fi that we want the hub to connect to. All right, and we're all done. We'll go ahead and select done. We'll go ahead and say OK. Here's some update instructions. We'll go ahead and click on the X1 hub. You can change the name if you want to. We'll go ahead and update the firmware. All right, and there we go. Now the really cool thing about this hub is it acts as a middleman between the remote control and all of your devices. It connects to Wi-Fi so it can download all of the command lists for all the devices out there. And if it so happens that this can't download a device list for a particular device that you have, you can always use the remote control that that device came with to put those commands directly into the remote control. So you can't use this remote control without this hub because the remote control here does not have any infrared transmitters on it. I am also going to show you how to input commands manually using any remote control that uses infrared so the commands can be sent to the sofa baton. So once you have the application connected to the hub, all the information will then sync into this remote control. And I'll show you what it looks like once that happens. So here, as you can see, is the screen. It's got a nice,
Now, all of these buttons on the remote control are reprogrammable. It's not just the ones down here. You can pretty much set any button on here to do whatever you need. Now, one thing to note is the menu on the LCD can only be controlled by this little uh, roller here, and then you press in on it to select uh, whichever option you want here. You can't use any of the other buttons to control what's on the LCD other than the little knob here. Okay, so here I just wanted to show you the application real quick. I have already gone ahead and set up all my devices. I will tell you that it's gonna take a little time to fine tune how you want this set up just right. But once you do, you won't have to worry about it again. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go into the devices tab here, and we're gonna to wanna to add all the devices we wanna control with the remote control here. So here I have my Xbox, which I have set up here. I've got my Samsung TV, my soundbar, and my Fire TV. And the way you add the device is just to press the little plus here. As you can see, it's got some things that are already preloaded for you to easily pair up. But if it's not on the list, you can always do a quick search by brand name, the model, or you can also do a search uh, for Bluetooth pairing, Wi-Fi, and you can also enter the manual learning mode. Now, if you use Bluetooth, like I said, you can connect this remote control up to uh, pretty much everything that uses Bluetooth. So if your TV uses Bluetooth and can use utilize a Bluetooth remote, you can go ahead and do the Bluetooth. If you have some sort of off-brand that is not in the list, you can go ahead and just go into manual learning mode and we can use the remote control that came with whatever device you have and you just point it at the little hub here and it inputs those commands manually or you can do a search by Wi-Fi. Then once you have all your devices in here, you can go into your activities. Basically what this is, is it'll turn on like your TV, your sound bar or your receiver all at the same time. So you don't have to manually go through each device and turn them on individually. So if I hit streaming, my TV would turn on, my, my sound bar would turn on, and I would go ahead and be able to stream. So it makes everything super easy unlike when you had to pick up the TV remote, turn it on, pick up the soundbar remote, turn it on, and then pick up the Fire TV stick and you know control with that. Now we have all that control in one device. And then if we go under me, we can see we have some settings here. You can change the language. Uh, here's some remote settings. You can change the name of the hub. You can sync your remote, update the firmware. You can also look for your remote if you can't find it. If you say look for the remote, it'll sound of pretty loud sound on the remote control so you can find it whether it's you know underneath a pillow or in some couch cushions or whatnot you can pair a new remote or factory reset we also have some video tutorials facts and other things here so now i'm going to show you how to connect by bluetooth because it may be a little confusing if the device that's on here uh, doesn't match up with your device so we'll go ahead and manually do by bluetooth there's nothing in here that i need to connect to so we'll hit other you can name the name of whatever bluetooth device you're going to add so we'll just say mac because we're going to hook up to my mac studio you can choose the icon there's a whole bunch of icons we'll go back and then hit complete it's going to go ahead and download all of the devices that it has in its library just takes a few minutes. Okay, so once that's done, it's gonna go ahead and show you this screen here. Then on whatever device you wanna connect up, just click pair and it'll go through the pairing process on your phone. So on my computer, it has the sofa baton. I'll go ahead and click connect so you can watch this. And as you can see, it added successfully. It only takes a few seconds. It's just kind of confusing up until this point. So I just wanted to show you how to do that real quick. So now once you've added a device, you can go ahead and go into the device settings of that. As you can see, it shows the remote control for that device. And then if we go into edit, we can change some of the buttons here. As you can see, we have power settings. Uh, we can assign a key and we have add repair a key. So what we'll go ahead and do, we want to change one of the keys on the remote control. We'll just click that. And as you can see, it brings up the remote. Um, even though these are circled, you can select pretty much anything you want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and change the home button. So I'll click on the home button. Then it asks you which key you want to replace that home button with. You can pick whichever one you want. We'll just say OK. And now it's assigned. And you can go back. 
and now the home key on the remote control as well as the application will do whatever you told it to do. And then if we go into our activities, if we go into streaming and we go into edit, you can also change the startup and shutdown settings. So if you want your device to remain on all the time, you can do that. As you can see in shutdown, we can see Samsung turn off when not in use or always on and left unless the off key is pressed. There is a ton of options in here. You can pretty much fine tune it the exact way you want it. That's kind of why it takes a little time, but like I said before, it is going to be exactly like the way that you want it. So you can opt to control your devices either by the remote control over here, or you can use your application on your phone uh, either way. It's just more convenient to use the remote, but you can always use your app if you need. So before I show you how the remote control works, I just kind of wanted to show you how I have my setup here. I have the hub sitting in the back here plugged in, and then it also comes with two of these IR transmitters. So if you have older devices that use infrared still, you can control those devices with these little plugins, which my soundbar does still use infrared as well as my TV. And then remember when I said if you lose your remote, you can go into the application and hit look for X1 remote and it'll emit a pretty high sound. And then when you find the remote, just press any button. Now I told you before that you can go into any one of these devices and manually input a command from a remote control that you already have with the infrared. So if you go into your application here, go into one of your devices, then click edit and add repair key. At the bottom here, you'll see add commands. We'll click add command. You'll name the button, hit next. And as you can see, it'll tell you how to input that command. So here we have a infrared remote control here. I'm gonna simply just press and hold the power button. All you need to do is hold it three to five inches away from the hub and just continue to hold it until it recognizes the input. And there you go. As you can see, it did input it into the list at the bottom there. And you can always test it by pressing trigger. If it works, great. If not, you can always try it again by hitting repair. And that's how you manually enter a command from a remote control using infrared. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how the remote works all set up. Again, this is the main screen. When you're using your remote control to turn on a whole bunch of devices all at once, you're going to want to go into your activities. And I have streaming set up. So once I click on this, it'll turn on my soundbar, it'll turn on the TV, and it'll turn on the Fire Stick TV. So here we go. And there we go. As you can see, my soundbar turned on and we have the fire stick on and the TV is on the right input. So if I went ahead and hit the plus minus button, it'll go ahead and change the volume. As you can see, it's changing the soundbar volume. And then you can also control the fire stick TV all with just this one remote. And if you want to go back to your main Fire Stick TV screen, I set my home button here to take me back home. And it simply takes you back home. Now one of the really cool things about this remote control is the fact that it doesn't use infrared to talk to the hub. And because of that, you don't need to point the remote control at whatever device you're using. You can, use, you can be in another room and this remote control will still work. And I'm going to demonstrate that by using this behind me and this pillow and you'll see that it still works. As you can see, I'm still controlling the TV. Pretty cool, huh? And then when you want to turn off all your devices, all you need to do is simply press the off button at the top here and it'll turn off all your devices. There you go. It turned off the TV and my soundbar. 
So this one remote control makes everything super convenient. I no longer need to use three different remote controls to control my TV, my soundbar, and my fire stick. It's all simply done with one remote. And like I said before, you can control anything that uses an infrared remote control. All you need to do is simply put those commands in the remote control and you can control it with this one device. So again, if you guys want to pick this remote control up, I will be putting a link in the description. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.